Hey everybody, what's going on? Joe Coffey here at NAM 2010. We're actually at the pre-NAM event put on by Artist Relations. And we're checking out new gear from new companies. And here's something I think you acoustic players will be very interested in. Intune has a new product, and it's called the uh, the String Anchor. Quick it's String String Anchor Bracket. The Quick String String Anchor Bracket. Basically, uh, we decided to get rid of ridge pins, and all you have to do is put the string in, tilt it underneath the bridge saddle so it latches in the slot, and then pull up on it. Maintain tension while you tighten up your strings, and you're good to go. Uh, this bracket, we have an installation tool for it also. This installs in your guitar without modification, and it takes less than a minute to do it. You, have that, you were showing me a second ago. Check this out. There's a, a little block, and it's got the screws in it to go right through the right holes. So why don't you show us how this works then? This installation tool, and how that would go in would be like this. It goes through string holes two and five. And then what you would do is these studs would come up through the holes, and you tighten the washers and the, uh, and the uh, wing nuts on it to suck it up against the bridge plate. It's got an adhesive on here. You peel the backing off, of course, before you do that. And that adhesive backing holds it in. We also have these little tangs on the corners, and that keeps it from creeping uh, upon initial install. Once you put it in, you're good to go. And as you can see, it's held in very firmly. Tell me about the material here. It's uh, brass? This is uh, what we're using right now is cartridge brass. We did uh, quite a bit of sound testing with different materials, and we actually found that the material that we use didn't tend to have much, if any, of an impact on the sound of your guitar. That most of the sound of your guitar was being generated between the nut and the bridge saddle. A lot of people will use like titanium bridge pins or whatnot to make sure that they can transfer the vibration as, as fully as possible. You, you just said that it found you found that it doesn't really matter what material on the back of this. It looks like very little is really touching it. It's already going through the wood, right? Yes, correct. The string is still contacting the wood all the way like it does with the bridge pins. And uh, our testing has showed that the brake angle over the bridge saddle down into the sound hole and maintaining that tension and, and contacting the wood seems to have the most to do with the tone as opposed to the bridge pins. And we did testing using the guitar with the bridge pins in it as our baseline. And basically, we could find no tonal difference uh, between using the pins and using our bracket. This makes life a lot easier, it's much faster to do, and uh, no bridge pins to have to pull out or lose or no tools, anything like that. No worn bridge pins. Now, here's the other thing with this. If you want to use your bridge pins with this, you still can. What should we know about pricing? Uh, at this point in time... I mean, it's a new product. You're introducing it right now, product. right? It's a new product. Uh, our our uh, discussions right now, we're targeting at a retail price of $19.95. And that comes with the installation block? Come with the installation tool, yes. Very cool. $19.95 for what you see right here. Uh, if people want to find out more, where can they go in the future online? Uh, you should go to www.ntune.com. All right. There you have it. Check it out. I'm Joe Coffey. You're watching PremierGuitar.com.